If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable muck coins, check out my sponsor at MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snipping out the Madden Cheese, as always. In today's video, we have another update. Yesterday was College Football 25. Today, it's Madden 25. As it's apparent that EA is putting in the extra time to try to fix all the bugs and all the broken issues in their games. Uh, Madden probably needs more work right now in the College Football 25, and that's why today's update is going to be a little bit bigger. They address quite a few things. Some things that they said in the previous patch video, I think the last patch was on the third, and I talked about how in that video that they had said that they were going to work on a couple things. Well, I did work on a couple of things, so I'm going to get right into that. But before I do, if you guys want to see more update videos like this, if you want me to keep you up to date with anything that changes as far as Madden 25 or College Football 25, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's go and get right into the video. Now, there weren't actually any patch notes per se released on this particular update, but there was a... Uh, EA community manager that posted uh, on one of their forums I think I'm not really sure but I have that information here where it says hey Madden fans a title update is available today for Madden NFL 25 this update is focused on key gameplay fixes and player feedback now probably the biggest one is what they did when it comes to zone coverage adjustments but the first one I'm going to address is going to be the speed boost uh, custom stem glitch which is something that they said in the last uh, update that they did fix even though they didn't fix it and I mentioned that in yesterday's video as well uh, basically, in college football, all they did was once you custom stem a receiver one time, it takes away the option to smart route because that's, that's how you did the glitch. You would custom stem the receiver to any depth, then smart route it, and it would break the route. So in uh, college football 25, once you custom stem somebody, they just took away the ability to smart route. It just disappears off your menu, off your hot route menu. Well, they did the same fix in Madden. So now you can't use the same custom stem glitch. That's gone. I don't know why they said that they fixed it last time, considering that they really didn't, but I can confirm with you that they did fix it this time it's no longer available once you custom stem a receiver the uh, the smart route option is gone off the off the hot route menu in madden as well uh, there was a couple of adjustments that were made uh, when it comes to zone coverages specifically cover three which is once again something that they did mention that they were trying to work on uh, one says address an issue causing curl flat defenders to continue to drift away from an an eligible receiver threat in close proximity. Uh, once again, there's a lot of adjustments when it comes to curl flats. That's one. There's another one that says address an issue preventing the curl flat zone depth coach adjustment from working properly when set at when set at less than 15 yards. So those are two uh, curl flat adjustments that they made when it comes to zone coverage is not covering properly. Uh, as far as curl flats go, that's typically found in cover three and cover four defenses. So those two defenses should be improved. They also made an, an, an additional adjustment when it comes to the deep third defenders, which once again is outside cover three. It says address an issue causing outside deep third defenders to get out of position when covering corner routes or giving up too much cushion versus corner routes. So basically they really tried to work on cover three, which is something that they mentioned in the last major patch. That was something that they were trying to do. Now that's it for the zone improvements or the adjustments that they made, but I know that's not the only zone flat that was having issues. I think cloud flats and hard flats is something that a lot of people are complaining. Uh, they don't typically cover low. If you Even if you hard flat and set your set your hard flats to five in coaching adjustments, I know a lot of times that particular particularly outside cloud flats just don't do a very good job of taking away short routes. They still got way too much space underneath. This is something that I hope they address in a future patch because I know that based off of the last uh, patch notes on, on September 3rd that they mentioned cover three specifically, but they never mentioned cover two uh, and they never mentioned uh, never mentioned cloud flats or hard flats. So that's something that I hope uh, that they see in a video like this. Uh, but once again, as always, if you guys are having issues that you don't think EA is too aware of, let them all know in the comment section because I'm sure they check out uh, community feedback in the comment section when it comes to posts like this. So make sure to let them know. But that's it for the zone improvements today. It just looks like a lot of uh, attempts at addressing cover three specifically, but no other coverages really uh, were addressed. But like I said, curl flats are also in cover four, so it's not just something that uh, is going to be uh, in cover three. Cover four obviously covers way differently. Now, there were a few more things that had to do with the quarterback, uh, one in a very specific game mode, and one that was just a very specific rollout speed boost exploit that they tried to patch. It says right here, tuning to decrease the effectiveness of a specific QB rollout speed boost exploit. I'm not really sure which one that is. I know that every year there's 
Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, different bugs when it comes to running with the quarterback uh, and stuff like that. I, I, this particular one I'm not familiar with, but apparently this was an issue because uh, on this post, I did see a Mutt Leaks post on Twitter, and uh, they said that the patch wasn't too major, but then I had some pushback from a lot of people saying it was specifically when it came to squads, which brings me to my next one here. It says, address an issue in squads causing the QB to switch to a teammate after the snap. I can imagine that that could be very uh, troublesome. Squads is pretty popular, so I, I can imagine that um, you know they're going to put a little bit of extra time into that uh, because in the past, I don't think a lot of people played squads, but I see a lot of people playing squads now. So it's, um, it's good to see that they're, they're paying more attention to the game modes that get more exposure. Now, I also have some updates from the same uh, EA Community Manager from the same uh, website, basically giving you guys some updates on some make goods when it comes to some of the programs that failed to roll out on time when it comes to MUT, uh, which in my opinion is kind of a little bit too late, but I guess if you were impacted, you might get some free stuff, so uh, that's probably the most important thing. But I'm going to read you what it says here. It says, we have some updates for you guys around the make goods from previous programs and how we're going to distribute them to players. First, we'll be making, uh, we'll be rolling out make goods for Season of Boom, Campus Hero, and AKA, also known as This Morning. Uh, next, we'll be targeting later today to deliver the rest of the Ultimate Alumni and Rookie Premiere content. I mean, you know, some of this stuff's really outdated at this point. I don't even see the point now. It's over a month old. Uh, as mentioned on the at Madden NFL Direct, we will have a separate post with full details about additional make good for both Ultimate Alumni and Rookie Premier. Um, I'm putting this video out as soon as possible, so whenever this information comes out, I probably won't be able to get it to you guys. But, um, you know, I don't want to wait on the information. We've A lot of people have been waiting on the Rookie Premiers for a long time anyway. Who knows if they'll still get it, even, even based off of the information I'm going to read you guys. It says, below you'll find the program with make good details and the impacted time frame. Now, number one, they got Season of Boom. It says, 83 overall Christian McCaffrey. Who uh, users who uh, I'm sorry Christian Watson not Christian McCaffrey Christian Watson who uh, users who did not receive the correct content after completing the season of Boom challenges will be receiving the 83 overall Christian Watson I don't know how long ago that season of Boom challenge was but 83 overall card doesn't sound too useful now uh, aside from maybe uh, you know quick selling or something uh, it says season of Boom milestones some users did not receive the correct rewards when achieving specific milestones for season of Boom challenges impacted users will receive. 80 plus overall, 8 and 82 overall game time pack. Uh, wait, hold on. We're receiving 80 plus overall and 82 overall game time pack for the 78 overall. And okay, so they did slightly boost it up a little bit. Instead of getting a 78 plus and an 80 plus, you're getting an 80 plus and an 82 plus. So not bad for the milestone rewards. Uh, and that says plus, so that means the bare minimum is an 80 or 82. You could get something much better. It says Campus Hero is an incorrect. LTD was displayed on the store during the Canvas Heroes program for players that purchased the pack that could contain an LTT during the impact of the time frame. We'll be receiving a game time pack per pack purchased. And it says the impact of the time frame was only about 15 minutes. It was on 8.29 from 2.16 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Eastern time. So about 14 minutes of time. So how many people are really going to be, uh, are going to going to fall into that category? Uh, it also says the AKA pack odds were displayed incorrectly. And users who purchase any AKA packs during the impact of the time frame were receiving two times AKA packs with the correct odds. It says impact of time frame 9.2 from 1.30 to 2.36. So a little over an hour in Eastern time. And it really makes me, you know, I, I don't I don't know how much they really bend the truth or how long that was really an issue or how much they're really you know giving players back and stuff like that it's really hard to say but it's definitely it's nice to see that they're communicating this stuff and trying to make good as soon as possible because like i said i know that a lot of people have still been waiting on their rookie premieres and never got them so it's kind of uh you know just for some people a little too little too late but I'm going to end the video there. That's all the updates that I have at this time. And I want to get this video out in a timely manner. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. If you want to see more Madden videos that I made previously, I'll have them popping on the screen. So just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. Much it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.